Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Bird's Nest, all about motherhood, minimalism, and freedom. Today we're going to be making our very own baby powder puff. I started doing this when my son was pretty recently born, of around a few months old. I did find a couple of baby powders that I did like, and I'll link them down below that you can buy. But there's nothing better than knowing what's in your baby powder and knowing what's in the ingredients of what you put on your babies. We've all heard the horror stories about talc and baby powder, and while most companies don't use that anymore, it's still, like, people trusted these companies and still were putting these things on their baby. So just to be safe, I would just make your own, honestly. You never know what type of things people are putting in their products and what's going to have an adverse reaction with your baby. So this way, you know what's going in. It can be all organic. It could be all natural and all safe for your baby. One thing that you always have to be careful of with baby powder, though, is you don't want it to be too poofy, like a cloud of smoke in their face, and they can you can make them choke. So be careful when you're using any baby powder, whether it's one you buy at the store or one you make on your own. I decided to make my own and I haven't looked back ever since. So if you are like me and you wanna see what it's like to make your own baby powder, watch this video. You can always make it your own. You can add essential oils. You can change the ingredients. You can do whatever, but this is the one I found has worked best on my baby. And my baby has only had around three or four diaper rashes his entire life and he's 15 months old and they go away right away. The way I use the baby powder is I use it every single time he's gonna have a nap or go to sleep. Otherwise, I just don't put anything on at all. So check out the video, subscribe below, hit the bell button if you wanna see more videos just like this. Have a great day. So let's get started. This recipe is super, super simple. You're gonna love it. The first ingredient is arrowroot powder. Arrowroot is a starch that's obtained from tropical plants. Next we have organic chamomile flower powder. Chamomile is soothing on the skin and also has a calming effect. Next, you're going to need a cheesecloth. The one you choose is totally up to you. I chose this organic one. I'll link it down below. Scissors. And some kind of string. I'm using this hemp string. And last but not least, you're going to need a spoon. So there you have it. Simple, simple, simple. Let's get started. You're gonna wanna take your cheesecloth and cut it up into basically the size that you're gonna want it. I like my powder puffs to be a little bit on the smaller side because I like to change them more often, but you can cut a bigger square, you can cut a smaller square. It's totally up to you. Also, you're going to want to decide how thick you want it to be, how many layers of fabric you want there to be, and that will determine how much powder comes out at a time. Later on in the video, you'll see how much powder comes out of mine, and you can choose to either add layers or forego some. Starting with the arrowroot powder, I'm going to do four tablespoons of arrowroot powder. This is going to be our main base of the mixture. It's gluten free and it's also used as a flour substitute or a cornstarch substitute. Some people actually do use cornstarch in their homemade baby powder, but I chose to use arrowroot powder. And you want to put it right in the middle and try to keep it as centered as possible. This is going to be a four to one ratio with the chamomile powder. So four tablespoons of arrowroot powder. Don't worry about making a mess. It's all safe. It's all organic. It's all natural. And it's all edible. Next with the chamomile powder, I'm going to take about one tablespoon of that. Plop it right on top. And then you want to mix it up. Mix it up real good so that the, all of the chamomile powder is blended in evenly. 
Next, you're going to want to prepare your string to tie it all together. So cut off a little piece of string and you want to fold in the edges so that no powder is going to be coming out of the top. Give it a little twist. And tie it up. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be cute, it just has to be useful. I like to make a little bow on mine, but do it however you want to do it. step that I do is I take my scissors one last time and kind of like cut off any edges, cut off the extra string. And all of these little strings coming off of the cheesecloth, I just kind of get them out of there because they could just end up on your baby's tushy if you don't get them off. And there you have it. A cute little powder puff. So now I'm going to show you how much powder actually comes out of it. If you do a harder tap with it, this is how much powder comes out. And if you do a lighter tap with it, it's just a little bit. And I'll show you on my hand. It lasts such a long time. And it's baby approved! All that's left to do is put it with the rest of your diapering essentials. Thanks for watching, subscribe below and hit the bell button to get more videos just like this. Bye!